The Delhi police on Tuesday detained BJP workers in New Delhi who were protesting against the Arvind Kejriwal led government over the Delhi excise policy. Several Delhi BJP leaders and workers led by leader of opposition in the assembly Ramveer Singh Bidhuri staged a protest near Deputy Chief Minister Manish Sisodia's residence demanding his resignation over the alleged corruption in the liquor policy. The protesters raised slogans against Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal and Sisodia demanding that they should step down. He said that the Bharatiya Janata Party MLAs will meet President Draupadi Murmu and demand the dismissal of the Aam Aadmi Party government in Delhi. Mohammad Haris Nalapar, President Karnataka Pradesh Youth Congress Committee, floated using an inflated rubber tube on a waterlogged road in Bangalore to protest against the state government, demanding a solution to severe waterlogging witnessed in the city. The video of the same went viral on social media. Dr. Geeta Agniotri, Scientist Metallurgical Department, released a statement stating that widespread drains are expected in the city for the next five days in coastal and north interior Karnataka and three days widespread drains followed by fairly widespread drains for the next two days in south interior Karnataka. Meanwhile, CM Basavraj Bomai blamed the maladministration of previous Congress government for the waterlogging and worsening situation in the city. The Supreme Court on Tuesday said that it may list tomorrow for hearing the cases filed by rival groups of Shiv Sena in relation to the Maharashtra political crisis. A bench of Chief Justice UU Lalit and Justice S. Ravindra Bhatt said that it may list the matters for hearing on Wednesday after senior advocate Neeraj Kishan Kaul appearing for the Chief Minister Eknath Shinde group sought an urgent hearing of the matter. I cannot say off the cuff, but certainly by tomorrow something will be there, said CJ Lalit. While mentioning the matter for urgent hearing, Call said that the matter was referred to a five-judge constitution bench by the Apex Court and the proceedings before the Election Commission of India to determine the real Shiv Sena have been stalled. Apprising the bench about upcoming local body polls in the state, Call said that there is a need to urgently resolve the issue. In a fresh encounter that broke out between the security forces and the terrorists in Anantanag district of Jammu and Kashmir on Tuesday, two terrorists were killed. The encounter is believed to have started after the security forces cordoned the area following specific inputs, post which they surrounded the terrorists. The terrorists have been identified as Danish Bhatt and Bashrat Nabi and both are reported to be local Hijbul Mujahideen terrorists. Both the terrorists were involved in killing of one TA personal Salim on 9th April 2021 and killing of two civilians on 29th May 2021 in Jablipura. A Jammu and Kashmir official reported about the encounter and added that during the search, the terrorists started firing on the security forces, on which they retaliated and the encounter started. So far, two terrorists have been killed in this. The encounter is still on and further details are awaited.